two light painting in the Sahara part one. It's windy. It's a very windy night. It's not going to be like this every night, we think. But we wanted to make one night of light painting in those conditions. Might be tonight. Are you ready for this? Okay, we're going to move to this dune over there because we messed up everything here. Getting ready for a light painting in about 15 minutes. It looks super dark right now. But we can still see the sun over there. The sun is covered by the thick air of sun. I don't know what it is, but very diffused light. It was yeah. so beautiful when you were dancing. like what I see here but the main problem is that we're not far enough so we can still see the village over there and I guess they're going to have lights yeah. in a few minutes. It's quite violent. Like finding good composition in sand dunes is not always easy. We've been struggling with that for a long time, but when it works, it's so fabulous. So we just tested something, Kim is coming back. We're trying to not leave any trace. So up and down the hill, this is what I'm going to do in a few seconds. The lens is dirty, let me clean that up. Better? Better, okay. So now my, my 1DX with uh, 24 millimeters lens is set. This is the place we're going to shoot tonight. It's super windy yeah. and maybe it's not a good time to yeah, yeah. to get the two cameras for the sun right at the beginning. Yeah. And I know that the second camera is, is going to be at 14 millimeters, which is super wide, probably too wide for what we're going to do here. So time to prepare the trigger.
Oh yeah, it's working. Okay. So if we were to do a shot with the full moon on the 28th, it would be at 4 a.m. Nice. That could be cool. More time, no sleeping, yeah. Yeah. Well, and then we would be back for breakfast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>